Welcome back to CWC Top Plays. For our last video of the year, we've got something a little different. All five submissions this month are from players in the competitive Castle Wars clan, Defying Legends. Without further ado, let's get started. Kicking off with number five, we have Mutinous maging in a full out event. There's less than a minute on the clock and Mutinous and his team are trying to prevent a final score. Mutinous, camped outside the enemy's catapult, lands a ridiculous cast on his flag moving inside. He uses his range switch to try to drop the holders. Mutinous moves towards small doors as the flag continues to get juggled, freeze after freeze. As the flag moves forward, Mutinous and his teammate set and tend around ground stairs, allowing him and his other mage to go for casts. As the pile is finally frozen, Mutinous anticipates the necessary pass as he is speared. He hits the six option down right click on his second attempt, grabbing his own flag. Moving up the wall and putting his armadillo switch on helps him survive slightly longer. Right as he dies, the game ends. Munis' team has won. Thanks for the submission. In the number 4 position, we have Andy scoring in an 8v8. There's less than 2 minutes on the clock. The other team has just scored, putting Andy's team down 5-6. to six. His team knows they have to immediately go for the score in order to tie. Andy goes wide around a tended gate down 3rd and blows one. He's getting spam speared heading down, but is fortunately swimming. As his teammates are dealing with the defenders, Andy heads out small doors toward mid. Andy blows two cades wide at bridge with his last explosives. He sets two cades behind while tactically walking. His teammates are able to spear the mage trying to stall, blowing the cades for Andy. Andy gets the score with only seconds remaining, solidifying the tie. Thanks for the submission. At number 3, we have Zedzim's third floor maging in a 6v6. He's staying behind in his base in order to assist the score. Zed spears the opposing off mage on ground, allowing him to get into supply with a Cade behind. He freezes the defending scorer, spearing them away, and blowing the Cade for his teammate to get through. His score gets frozen up spawn in his low health. Zed gets the off mage frozen stuck behind a cade, preventing them from dealing damage. Then he gets the score frozen. He splashes on the second mage, moving to grab bands. Just in time to heal his teammate to prevent them from dying. As his score moves wide, Zed sets two cades, blocking the mage's casts. That's going to allow his teammate to safely head up to get the clutch score. Thanks for sharing this one. Number 2, we have Aw scoring in a 66. Down spawn, Aw blows straight, saving the last bucket for the tip of the straight lane, but gets frozen. Aw right clicks the Cade, but gets speared and is out of explosives, forced toward back ladder. Frozen in supply, Aw does pretty well with the overhead switches. Still without explosives, faking back up, back ladder pulls the defense towards small doors. While his teammate spears the chasing mage in long alley and tends him out, allowing time to restock explosives and cades. All blows two cades and is under. At the collapsed tunnel, all hugs the wall for a second, just in time for their off mage to spear the opposing mage, allowing a safe cross with a triple blow. The mages are speared again as all makes it to ladder, setting two cades, tending one up with a run toggle. All's teammates deal with the trailing serodomen team up mid with a well placed cade. Getting a splash up spawn, all heads wide around a set cade. Wide up third with the last set cade, blocks a cast from the opposing off mage, and the score is secured for a two point lead. With less than six minutes on the clock, that puts all's team in a favorable position for the win. Thanks for the submission. In the number one spot this month, we have Brian405. 
third floor maging in what appears to be a 6v6. Brian sets and tends downstairs as his flag comes down to third floor, and he lands the freeze. Anticipating the pass, Brian spears the other delaying score, but when he clicks the drop flag, he gets pit speared away. He spears the running score and lands a freeze on third stairs. He's going to tend his cade upstairs and freeze the other scorer up. Brian missed times on spawn, ending up behind his flag, but manages to land a freeze off exit stairs. He tries to deal damage, hopping stairs to avoid getting speared, but ends up anyway. His flag goes back ladder, and he and his PK are behind after tending exit stairs. Brian blows the couple cades set towards supply. The score goes back up supply to grab cades, and Brian splashes, but spears down. His own score has just showed up at ladder, dying right as Brian comes down after splashing again on his own flag. Brian blows a set Cade and has no spec for his spear but manages to get the Ceridone flag anyway. Staying on the ladder, Brian goes up and down as his own flag tries to peel off under. Brian manages to land a freeze on them while holding the other flag. He freezes the opposing PK away and stands under them to avoid taking damage. As his flag tries to run back up supply, his teammates spear the other Ceridoan team. Brian manages to deal the final hit to kill his flag up supply. He clicks it up to secure the safe. Out of bands and with no defensive gear, he waits back down to pass the flag to his fresh scorer. They go up as the Ceridoan mage is speared. And Brian freezes them in supply. Up spawn, the last defender is easily taken care of, and the score is secured. Brian has helped carry his team in both the defense and offense simultaneously to get a point advantage mid-game. Thanks for the submission. We've appreciated the positive feedback from the OSRS community thus far. Hopefully, 2018 will be a new page for Competitive Castle Wars after seeing Jagex staff expressing an interest in the minigame. Check out the description for more information on the community and submitters, as well as a link for submitting your own clips. Thank you all for watching.